Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel, Upcoming Cyclone Updates. In this video, we'll analyze the latest conditions and data for the hurricane burl that persists over Barbados and is a major Category 3 hurricane. First of all, if you're new to this YouTube channel and still haven't subscribed so subscribe now, so you don't miss any important weather updates and watch complete video for getting better knowledge. Thanks a lot. Burl is expected to remain an extremely dangerous major hurricane when it reaches the Windward Islands tomorrow morning. This is a very dangerous situation and residents in these areas should listen to local government and emergency management officials for any preparedness and uh, or evacuation orders. These preparations should have been completed today June 30th as significant impacts will begin tomorrow morning. Potentially catastrophic hurricane force winds, a life-threatening storm surge and damaging waves are expected when Burl passes over portions of the Windward Islands with the highest risk of the core in St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Grenada beginning early Monday morning. Hurricane warnings are in effect for much of the Windward Islands. Heavy rainfall and localized flooding are expected across the Windward Islands through Monday. Burl is expected to remain a powerful hurricane as it moves across the Caribbean Sea later this week. A tropical storm watch is in effect for portions of the southern coast of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Interests elsewhere in Hispaniola, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and the remainder of the northwestern Caribbean should monitor its progress and additional watches and warnings will likely be required this week. There are a few pieces of evidence that show that Burl is in the middle of an eyewall replacement cycle ERC. The clear eye seen on infrared satellite earlier today has become a little more clouded over during the past few hours. In addition, data from the last leg through Burl from both the Air Force Reserve and NOAA Hurricane Hunters indicated concentric eye walls, which also matches current radar imagery we are receiving from Barbados Meteorological Service. An earlier SSMIS microwave pass at 2150 UTC also showed a formative outer moat forming outside the small inner eye wall in response to the evolving structure. 700 MB flight level winds from the NOAA and Air Force planes are a little lower than observed earlier today, and the latest round of Dvorak estimates also support a slightly lower intensity. However, the initial intensity will remain at 130 miles per hour, 115 knots for this advisory. Given a couple of drops and observations in the any quadrant of Burl's inner eye wall, aircraft fixes indicate Burl continues to move quickly westward at 287th knots. There isn't much change with the track forecast philosophy, as an extensive mid-level ridge poleward of Burl should maintain its westward to west-northwest motion for the next few days as it moves through the Windward Islands and into the Eastern Caribbean Sea. The ridge does become positioned more northwest of Burl towards the end of the forecast period, potentially allowing the hurricane to slow down gradually once it reaches the northwestern Caribbean Sea. The track guidance this cycle is quite similar to the previous cycle, and thus the latest NHC track forecast is also quite similar to the prior advisory. Thanks for watching. More updates will be issued soon.